Hello and welcome to this video. Gareth here from tastycheats.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you and demonstrate how you can easily create social media graphics for YouTube in Adobe Photoshop using my free social media kit. Now, if you're new to YouTube or you're an, an existing user, you're going to find these templates really useful. To follow along with this video, you will first need to download the social media kit and you can get that for free. The link is in the description. Also in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to apply a fictional brand across YouTube to demonstrate some helpful tips and to show how the templates work. So you will also need to download the exercise files. These two can be found in the description. Now this is the third episode on this course. In the previous two episodes, I demonstrated how to create graphics for Facebook and Twitter using my templates. If you have already seen these videos, then some of the things I will be covering in this tutorial will already be familiar to you. So for those of you that have already seen the previous episodes and know how the templates work, you may wish to skip ahead when I come to talk about them. For those of you that are new to this course, I will be explaining how they work shortly. So once you have downloaded both the social media kit and the exercise files, let's get into it. So here on my desktop, I have both the social media kit and the exercise files ready to go. Though first, let's open the media kit folder. So with the folder open, you will find four folders inside. Here, I have separated each social media platform into its own folder. But for this video, we are just going to focus on YouTube. So in the YouTube folder, what I have prepared for you here is a YouTube profile image template, a profile header template, a YouTube thumbnail template and a YouTube demo document. So the first three templates have been developed to help you create and compose your social media artwork. Now the last template is very different here. This is the YouTube demo. Now when you open this in Photoshop, you can see this is a template you can use to easily preview your social media across various devices from desktop to mobile. Now I use this as a way to test my images across devices to make sure there are no issues and they fit perfectly before I upload them. Currently, the YouTube header image can be a little tricky to get right. The YouTube header is actually a large image, as you can see here on the left. The YouTube header image is used on all devices across TV, mobile, desktop and tablet. It also appears different when your web browser is either wide or narrow, and we will be getting into that shortly. The YouTube thumbnails also appear in various sizes in various instances. They can appear large in some instances and really small in others, so using this template will be helpful to get previews of the various sizes. In this demo document, I have provided six slots for you to load your thumbnails into to get a good feel for how they will look together both in large and small formats. So back in the YouTube Media Kit folder, let's open the three templates. Now it's important to mention that all these templates are to scale, so whatever media you compose in these templates will fit the scale correctly when uploaded. So here I'll start with the YouTube profile image. So currently the YouTube profile is just a square. And here we have a large canvas to scale for you to compose your profile image inside. Next, we have the YouTube profile header template. Now, for those of you that are new to YouTube and have only ever seen a YouTube image on a website, the actual size is a lot larger. When you create a YouTube header image, you're actually making it for TV, desktop, tablet, and mobile. Now in the layers panel, you will notice two layer folders. We have desktop letterbox and mobile letterbox. Now, if I toggle desktop on, here we can see how the browser crops the image and the interface elements that cover the image when you upload the profile header image to YouTube, such as the profile image on the left and the web links down here on the right. This time, if I toggle the mobile area on, you can see further cropping and how the profile image is further in. So the challenge you have when creating a YouTube header 
is to make it work within this small area and the large area. So when using this template, be sure to check your composition against the desktop and mobile letterboxes. So next we have the YouTube thumbnail. Here we have a nice large canvas area for you to create your compositions in. Now notice in the layers panel, again we have a folder. This group is the YouTube time area. Across browser and mobile, the time is currently displayed in the bottom right. You will want to avoid this area when you include text because when displaying in small format, this might get missed. When creating YouTube thumbnails, you want to keep them eye-catching and simple. Remember, thumbnails are often displayed very small on the sidebar. So those are some templates you can use to create your YouTube content easily. Now let's say you create your YouTube media and want to preview them before you upload to make sure it's all looking good and meets the criteria of YouTube. Well now you can use the YouTube demo template. So this time with the exercise folder open, navigate to the YouTube template folder and open the YouTube demo in the exercise doc. So here you can see how I have used this YouTube demo template to preview some social media graphics for this fictional brand. On the left, we have the main profile header image, the profile image, and six thumbnail examples. Now over on the right, you can see how they look when they are uploaded to YouTube and what they will look like on the desktop, tablet, and on mobile. So let's now take a look at how you can use this Facebook demo template and how it works. So with the blank YouTube demo open from your social media kit, come to the exercise folder and into the YouTube templates and open the first three template files. So these are the same templates we looked at earlier, but here I have placed in my own graphics and composed various media. First, we have the profile image. Now for the profile image, I have kept it nice and simple and used just the logo icon for the brand. This is not generally very large on YouTube and comes up every time you post. So here it's good to keep it simple. Next, we have the YouTube profile header. So this is how it will look as displayed on TV. If I toggle the desktop letterbox, you can see how it will be cropped on browser. If I now toggle on mobile letterbox, you can see how it will be cropped on mobile. So currently, this composition is working across all platforms. So next is the thumbnail example. So over in the layers panel, we can see that we have six thumbnail examples I have prepared earlier. What I have tried to do here is showcase a few approaches. You can go for a simple bold approach where you just use imagery. I have included the brand mark here. You can use a bold image with type Notice how I have placed the type on top and the logo is still present. Another image background with type on top. Another bold image example, image and bold type. And another bold type example. Notice across each example, the logo is in the same place. Now thumbnails are often the only way to grab attention. By placing your brand mark on your thumbnails, you will acquire a consistent look and feel and people will recognize your content immediately. Also, on every example, I have avoided placing type near the bottom right corner. So the time will never overlap in the browser. Okay, so these are examples I have created earlier. Once you have created your media content, we can now preview them in the YouTube demo template. So back in my blank YouTube demo, we are now going to place each example into its rightful place. Now, if you look carefully in the layers panel, this has all been set out neatly for you to use effectively. Here, we can see each of the three social media items for YouTube with six thumbnails. Now, these are all smart objects. When we put content into these, all the other objects in the composition will update. So let's see this in action. Okay, so back to the profile image I created. Once you have created your YouTube profile image and you're happy with it, we will now need to copy and paste this into the YouTube demo. Now currently, this composition is made of various layers. 
I don't want to copy all the layers, just an image. So a neat trick for this is to press Command A to select all. Then press Command Shift plus C and that will copy everything visible in the selection. So with that all copied, back in the YouTube media demo, I'll come over to the layers panel and double click on the profile image thumbnail. Upon click, the smart object will open in its own tab. So next I'll press Command V to paste in the profile image. Now notice it fits exactly. Now that is because the smart object I mentioned is in sync with the template document. To make it easy to paste from one to the other, I have made sure that they are the same size. Easy. So once the profile image is in, press Command W to close and save. And back in the YouTube demo, you will see that the profile image is placed not only on the left, but now in each device instance. That's pretty cool, right? Okay, so once you have the profile image inside, let's now move on to the next item. So next is the profile header image. So here I have designed this to work well for both mobile and desktop. And if I toggle the various areas, you can see it works just fine. So let's see how this works in the YouTube demo document. So I'll make sure the folder visibilities are all toggled off. And just like earlier, I'll press Command A to select all, Command plus Shift plus C to copy all visible. Back in YouTube, in the YouTube demo, in the layers panel, I'll double click the profile header image layer thumbnail, press Command V to paste it in, Command W, close and save. And we are back to the YouTube demo with the header updated across all the devices. So next for the thumbnails. In my thumbnail document, I'll start with the top one. I'll press Command A to select all, Command plus Shift plus C to copy all visible. Back in the YouTube demo, in the layers panel, I'll double click the thumbnail one layer thumbnail, Command V to paste it in, Command W, close and save, and we are back to the YouTube demo with the thumbnail in each instance updated. Easy. So I'll just quickly go through and repeat this process for the next five thumbnails. And soon, I will have all my thumbnails in like so. So now all the social media is present in each device. You can now zoom into the various devices and make sure everything looks right and you're happy with the results. Here, we can see that the thumbnails appear to be working large and small here. The logo brand works nicely across each thumbnail. Type appears to be legible on the small thumbnails on the right, and the time is not interfering too much. The header image looks like it's working in wide view and narrow view, on the tablet in both landscape and portrait, and on mobile. Perfect. Now if you feel the graphics are not right or they need extra work, simply jump back into your main template files, make the changes, and paste them back into the appropriate smart object layer in the layers panel. Once you're happy with your media posts and you're ready to upload them, simply open the templates you composed the artwork in and save them off as JPEGs and upload them to YouTube. So that is how you can use my social media templates to easily create and preview your graphics before you upload them to YouTube. I find using this technique works really well for me and I hope it works just as well for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the tutorial, hit the like button on my Facebook page. If you would like to see more videos like this in future, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, you can download the templates you saw in this video. All links are in the description. So next, we are going to look at how we can create social media for Google Plus in Adobe Photoshop. See you in the next video.